with, so you better know your Filipino history. I'm pumped. <laughs> I am pumped. I really am. I'm so Wait, excited. hang on. So did you, did you, you went to prom? Yeah, Kalila, I went to prom. Thanks, George. You sa it sounds like that was maybe a nightmare. Um, okay. Excuse me, guys. My armpits are sweating heavily today. So are so. mine. So are <laughs> you mine. You need paper towel? No, we're good so far. There's a lot of holes in this shirt. So it does, it does lead to some AC ventilation up in the pit zone. But, <laughs> um, did I go to prom? I did go to prom. <laughs> It was, it, okay, all right. So at that time, I was, I really liked this older guy. He wasn't my age. I was, I guess, like How 17 or 18. Older? He was all of like 22, 23. He was okay. like an older yeah, yeah. gentleman, mm -hmm. right? And so I was like, I really, I really wanted this guy to go. And plus, I mean, you kind of uh, get a vibe from me. Like, I'm not somebody who does well. We talked about our eyelashes. Like, I try, I really try to do like super, super, super girly things. <laughs> but I massively, morbidly fail every, like, I do try. Like, I give it my 100 effort. And every single time I try, like, I just end up looking like, you know, like a linebacker in a dress that doesn't work <laughs> out. It's just, Wait, I just why feel a big. I, Sarah, but you're, you you're actually, not, you're not, you don't have my shoulders. No, 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 no. which I want your shoulders. No, because they're square and gorgeous. <laughs> Ooh, those hot, those hot square shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> but like, they're in. They're huge on the <laughs> runways right now. Like, massive. Like, and I've always had roundy shoulders, which is, is not, it's proportionally horrible for the rest of your body because mm. nobody likes a round shoulder. They always want a square, good Olympic swimmer shoulder. I say all that to say you're amazing. Thank you. That you're Thank a square. You. <laughs> a giant square. I say all that to say you're a shoulder influencer. <laughs> 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 I mean, people are going mad for this shit. Um, Wait, do, do high, why do high schools do that? Let's say, like, because I was 17 and I was able to take a 21-year-old date. Yeah. And then nobody check ID, nothing. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs> he was a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. You know? It, no, I don't know. Like, but, he, okay, I keep in mind, too, one, this was a prom in Kentucky at a Catholic <laughs> high school. You went to a Catholic high school? So All girl Catholic high school. You Filipino or Irish? <laughs> yeah. We I I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, I went through uh, kindergarten all the way through 12th grade with Catholic school. I was confirmed, baptized, reconciled. Anointing of the, anointing of the sick. <laughs> yeah. I did penance. Yeah, go. penance. Our all Father, of it. You know our, our, our Hail Marys. I you and I do you want to Kneel on pews right now? I will. Do you want to do the rosary? I will. I always got in trouble in church because I would kneel on the pews, but then I would stick my butt back on the... I would nail. I would nail. I would ma I would kneel. What the fuck? I know. Fuck? Are, you are you talking about where you kneel? Are you talking I about where you kneel and then put your butt on the chair? Yes. Yeah, same here. And then with the little... They take like a ruler or this... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That that yeah, and I was like, well, I'm tired. I'm so <laughs> tired. Like, you know what I mean? You would just put your head down, like yeah. on the. Oh, it's horrible, and I would get in so much trouble. But anyway, so yeah, so it was a Catholic jam, and like, and that's the thing. Like, you could bring a 35 year old to prom, <laughs> as long as it's a <laughs> the opposite sex. But I remember, <laughs> I rem I am not. J I could have been the biggest. R. Kelly could have come to our prom and people were like, it's cool. Like, you know, like, nice hetero couple. Like, it, but like, I remember this is how crazy it's so, even back then, I was like, what does it matter? Like, there was a, a, a girl who I knew at the time who has now transitioned to uh, identifying male. And at that time, she wanted to wear a tux to the prom. She still identified as feet, whatever. Like, and she wanted to bring a female date. And, <laughs> and full on, Jesus came down himself. Like, if you would have asked the people who ran the prom, they wouldn't let her do it. Oh, of course not. Not back then. Fucking no. assholes, man. But even it, 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 who cares? Like, her suit looked dope. Like, it doesn't <laughs> matter. She looks slick, you know? It but did she actually show up to prom that way? Or did she, did she like, resist and go anyways? She went, okay. but she her. didn't bring up. They they wouldn't oh, let her bring sad. a date of the same sex. How bananaramas! But yeah, every forty eight year old <laughs> who's having an affair on their wives, come on in. Like, 
So that's, I took this older gent who was 20, 23. I realized Whoa. if I get the ages Whoa. are changing. Once I start getting comfortable, I'm like, hey, <laughs> full spread. You was 23. I apologize. <laughs> I really apologize. Um, so, yeah, whatever. Yeah, he was older. And so, but I remember he wasn't friends with anybody else's fr- You know how at prom, like high school, you usually, by the way, I think I've seen your high school prom photo oh. on Instagram, which I just yes. happened to see. Uh-huh. And I was like, look at Kalila. I, it, I, I, it was not happening for me either. Were you not as pumped as I was? Because you can, every fo- po- photo, prom photo, yeah. you can kind of tell. Well, I love the fact that I went to Blair High School now, which was, you know, what was considered the reject school. Mm -hmm. Um, That's where I was zoned. And we had, we were told we were the bad kids of Pasadena. (laughs) But our proms, I'm sorry, like, because Jules told me what her prom was like and she goes to a private school. That shit seems so boring compared to ours. We the girl we had so much fun. Like there was oh, wait, it was a public school. I went to Sorry public to school. Okay. Yeah, okay. Blair High okay. School. Just checking. Okay. Um, Sorry. predominantly black and Latino. Uh-huh. Maybe a smattering of six white kids. Okay. Plus my date, who <laughs> happened to be an older gent as well, who was a white guy. You like them older gents. <laughs> and um, okay. but I had a good time. Like it really was. Uh, it wasn't as rigid as my niece's prom because she. I saw pictures of hers. I'm like, well, what were you guys doing? I mean, were you sucking dick in an alleyway? Were you doing this? She was like, I don't know. We don't do that. I'm like, I'm uh-huh. boring. Get out of uh-huh. here. Get out of here with your fucking vanilla behavior. Like we. I didn't even know we could do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so that's what, amazing. <laughs> what I want that with the older gent. That's super cute. All right, sorry. Go ahead. What, what happened with you and the older gent? typical okay you guys it just goes so beyond right well let me give you a quick like window into the dude (laughs) that is this older gent look man he was the i won't even say his name because he still lives in louisville and i still know who he is like and he was the hottest guy in louisville all right (laughs) like which wasn't saying much like the competition wasn't like saturated you know so Better and he drove. He was a car dude. He uh-huh, drove a BMW. Uh-huh. He fixed it up. You know, right? he uh-huh. had like he was a he was a gearhead. And I was like, that's hot. He worked at Chevron. I was like, you have a job. That's <laughs> dope. That's dope. <laughs> <laughs> he pumped gas. But I'm like, that's hot. But he had like the you know he had a uniform. Yeah, hot. that's a working man. When you're in high school, when you see a working man, hot. that is like the top of the food chain. Yeah. Hot as fuck. Smell and like I bet that. all the girls in your school were like, "Oh my God, Sarah! Yeah, you were you were you were proud. You you walked in there with your head held high. Like, yeah. who, look who I brought. Mm-hmm. The Chevron well, boy. Chevron man. <laughs> well, yeah, because yeah, he like smelled of a, like a little bit of gasoline with a little. That is pretty hot. Hugo Boss. Ah, uh, yeah. Hugo. Or curve. That's attractive. <laughs> Hugo Boss. Yeah, high right? school. I, oh, oh Jacar Noir. Jacar Noir does you? pass my time. But that's way. Way. That's uncle shit. When I the like dinosaurs Bod. roamed. But yeah. <laughs> I re- yeah. No, dudes. I don't know. You guys. They used to spray it in their hats. Do you remember uh, that? So when they would like put their hat backwards, mm-hmm. it would smell of a bit of sweat mm. and a bit of like, oh my god. And I would stick my pre pubescent what? no okay there. there we go <laughs> like bro i would i don't know what the fuck was wrong with me but like i did i was like that's so hot like weird shit but anyway so yeah so he was like a car dude and my dad hated him because he was older mm-hmm. and i would always get in trouble because i would go out with him because he didn't he was he wasn't in high school i was in high school yeah so like that's yeah i'm telling you like it, <laughs> it's kind of no weird. administrator in high school was like wait a second yeah uh, well, first off, why weren't why wasn't he? <gasps> Evie. What? <laughs> what? Oh, yes, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, Steve. Oh, Steve. Hi. What a treat. Do Sarah and Stevie know each other? Oh, right, that's why you buy it. Oh, oh wait! Don't sit on. She she oh, made that for you. Stevie, that's for you. She made that's, that for you. I made that for you. But sit in that spot. Still, that's yeah. you, Stevie. Like that. Yeah, that's you underwater yeah. with a glass. Well, look at this. <laughs> I've never been in here. I know. It's been a long time. I, it's, never... I haven't seen you in a year, dude. 
Has it been that long? The last yeah, time is because remember in the pandemic, you're like, Kalai, I'm hungry. I was like, uh, and you were like crying. I was like, I'll send you pizza right now. I'm, oh, yeah, I was starving back then. I'm so sorry. I just realized how big that couch is. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Your feet are just like chilling. That. Yeah. I should probably introduce the show, George. Yeah. We should introduce like the show. I like your little legs, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> we were, it's really good to see you, buddy. Yeah, we were talking about prom, yeah. but, but oh, first, yeah, yeah, I should yeah. introduce the show. You guys, welcome to a very special episode of Tiger Belly. Um, as you know, Papa Bear, uh, the the captain of the ship, is mm. still in Hungary filming his dream in his dream role. We think. <laughs> um, so today, I have two very very special co-hosts. And I'm going to introduce everyone in the room. Um, to my right is Mr. Pink Dick George Kimmel. To my left, of course, is Mr. Flat Flat Aloha. Gilbert Galan. To my right hey, is number one guest of 2021. Yes. And beloved friend of a podcast, of the podcast. Thank you. Miss Sarah Highland. Woo! Flat, but that's not all. But that's not, not all. all. It's not. Favorite top guest of 2018, 2019, and 2020. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to compete for the 2021 no, crown. No, no, there's no competition. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are. It's a competition. He's a little boy to Stevie. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's a reunion. It really is. It Without I haven't been here in a long time, and I haven't seen Sarah in... How many years? And, uh, 10, 20, I feel 10, like it was the last time that 15 I was moving years? out of the apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 15, Poor Steve, 17 I love you, years? Steve. Every, yeah, it was, it was r literally, I think, I came to pick up a couple. I was thinking about that before I came. I was like, when was the last time I saw Steve? Has it been? And I think it was when I came to like pick something up from the apartment over at Beachwood. Beachwood. Yeah. And you were walking, you were with Bobby, oh. and you were walking out, and you'd always say, Hey, sir. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wasn't living in the closet. That was a Sanborn. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But you did live in the Sanborn closet, yeah, right? Yeah, I lived in the closet, yeah. Um, what yeah. was inside that closet? Like, what um, made it a home It was home probably for you? the size of... Not this garage. Or no, it was a lot smaller. It was like a box. Oh, wow. It was literally like a, a, like a rat cage or something. Like, it was small. small. It was small. Yeah. I couldn't even extend my legs all the way. I had to sleep like... <laughs> I had to sleep like this. Well, that's sexy. Yeah. But I have this yeah. theory about you that I think you do like living in <laughs> oh. tight, tight spaces. Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love it. Um, you do? Like, I think if you were given the option of like a very large master bedroom or like a closet, you'd always choose the closet. Yeah, I don't need much to survive. I, I don't know where that comes from. I may be Korea. I have no idea. <laughs> but uh, I don't need much. Yeah. I just need a roof, uh, Adequate hot water, <laughs> cold <laughs> hot water, um, maybe like a mini fridge, uh, not much. Um, but you know they're kicking me out of the um, my place now. Kicking out? Oh, they, or are they, they bought the property. Oh, they yeah. bought it. Oh. So you know how everyone's building those um, condos, yeah, yeah, yeah. like high-rise condos? Yeah. So yeah, I might go to K-Town. K-Town's dope. That's, yeah. good, That's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I might do that. It's a reunion. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is, is this weird. It for feels you? weird. I know. I'm like, is it kind of? Is it it feels weird just being here. Wait, I want to know. I, I've been to this house like once. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, I've been here once or twice in my whole life. Well, you, I feel like but you've I know been, it's, you've I been know there a lot. House. You've been there a lot. What? On you've the PS4, been, yeah. a lot. Oh, is that where it's That's at? the game. Yeah. See, I didn't even recognize yeah, yeah, yeah. that area because I, 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 I didn't, I didn't even know this room ex <laughs> Did you guys like expand and renovate the room itself? No, we used to be in a different room, Steve. And then during the pandemic, we were like, oh, this is everything is too close Am I in together. in the garage? Yeah, yeah, you're in the garage. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I didn't figure that out. I don't know. This you're is the garage? This is the garage. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're both having an awakening oh. at the same moment. I'm like, <laughs> those are you rollers. You guys made those it are so rollers. cool. You did good. It doesn't feel like a garage. No. I got the AC blowing. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hang on a second. So, Steve, <laughs> wow. pre-pandemic, I just want to point out something. Pre-pandemic, Steve was a completely different man. 
What are you talking about? Oh. Now he is oh, yeah. Big Papa in the podcast. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, I'm, a, I'm a small uh, fry. Yeah? No, a small yeah. French fries. <laughs> What's no. been going on in the last year? Bro, I've, I've seen just, that shirt what? so many times yeah, on different I've been, podcasts. I'm prom- I'm promoting. <laughs> I told you my, <laughs> any podcast I go on, um, I, I'm trying to promote Scissor Bros. But, um, watch Scissor Bros. Yeah, watch okay. Scissor Bros. Um, I, I think I'm getting burnt out with podcasts. How so? Because it's like... I'm at a point now where I want, because I need to do them, but it's like every day I'm doing, like every day, every day. And, I, um, I, but you know what? Eventually that's always how it's going to feel, where you feel like, like, am I just repeating myself? Yeah. How many more stories do I have in the tank? But it's a good way to um, keep your memories fresh, like <laughs> your trauma fresh. Oh, yeah. And then not only that, it's like I noticed too, like... <laughs> Even because I've been going on King of the Sting. Oh, that's right. You're the you're the guy now. You're no, no, no. I'm not the guy. <laughs> you're the oh, you're the, the guy. The, you're no. the third mic. Come on, man. Stevie. No. Oh no, lean into but, it, dude. I I have I, I have like legit haters now. What? Congratulations. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the. What? Um, I want to read them to me. Well, actually, don't. Not not not, not here. Them. I don't want to give the guy yeah, shine. Don't, don't. Yeah. It is the most cruelest, malicious. <laughs> stuff you could think about because I know we've all kind of dealt with that you know just like if you go on like reddit not I know pa- not no, no, but Twyla, I, think, I think mine will match your like the, <laughs> the type of maliciousness and hatred will match your I doubt that uh, no 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 I no no no, no. this guy <laughs> just he just he breaks me down like he brings he he ends it with I sh- my dad should have killed me I wasn't worth the like the nut on like a towelette, like I should have oh. been wiped. Like my sperm should have been like so detailed. I feel like that's with a sock. That's I, not I, I oh, like abortion. An, this is so unoriginal. Well, he said I look like a gray alien. How it, that's just, a little better. That one's a little better. <laughs> that's actually uh, alien. Bad. This is a little better. <laughs> George laughed at that. It's a bad name. No, 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 it's not bad. Whoa. Whoa. It's not bad. You're, that's not bad. You're telling us, Steve. You're telling us. But I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? Because, like, out of mm. all of us, have you ever gone to anyone's, like, video or Instagram or anything and said anything mean ever? No, no but I, I have this, I have faith that 99% of your fan base or anyone that follows us don't do that. Like, there are sane, legitimately normal, loving people out there. Mm-hmm. It's just those voices tend to sound a little bit louder in our heads because it's, it's, it stings. Yeah, my alcoholism doesn't help. You know, because I have, like, a problem with perception and the way I look at things. I so do that too. doesn't help. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but uh, I realize that people like that are obviously unhappy or angry. They're either unhappy the projection. or okay. angry or something's going on. So... You can't take it personally. Do you get haters, Sarah? 100%. We talked about this oh after your God. episode. Sarah doesn't. Come on. What? No. You do? Steve. You're so likable. What? They talk, about your art? they talk about your artwork or something? What could Anything they say? you can make fun of somebody, like people will find something. Like, that's what I mean. Like, it's everybody's own perception of what flavor or color they're seeing it through. So right. I can't. Like, there's always something somebody's not going to like. Like, mm-hmm. after that, I did the podcast with. Um, at the Tiger Belly podcast, I literally, I, I think I read like probably just even two bad, you know, mean comments. And I was right. like, fuck. Like, <laughs> so it could be 90% I messaged Kalila. Yeah. I was like, Sarah, don't read anymore. Oh, just oh my stop. God. Like, I, yeah, I've, I've made other videos where I impersonated a celebrity, AKA Megan Fox. That did not go. Like, <laughs> like, oh, she's got fans. These motherfuckers <laughs> are like pit bulls. They're like, don't touch Megan Fox. You know what yeah, I mean? They yeah. are like extreme, you know, like. But do they, they, they hit below the belt though? They 100%. Get, they're they're say, mean. But they say stuff like personal stuff about you. Uh, I mean, they don't know anything personal, personal. Like, I don't have, that's the thing. Like, I don't have enough of my life out there. Who so I, lucky. You know? right. So lucky. I don't have that. Steve and I can't get that back. No, no. no. I I, everything, too deep. everything is out there with me. I, I totally believe it. So it's it, it's not, like, can't be, like, crazy personal, but it's enough to where, like, you know, you suck, you blow, 
die hard. You know what I yeah. mean? Like horrible shit. No, they talk about like, my genitals, my dry nut sack. Every, they go in. They <laughs> well, go Steve, in. to be fair, you talk about your dry nut yeah. sack. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yeah, it's, a lot. It's not as, you know, the thing is, Wait, I is talk about dry? it. No, no, no. It's not as bad. I think what I do, and I, I, I thought about this too. I think that, I think Bob has this too is we self-deprecate. Mm. It's like we like just go hard on ourselves. We say the most messed up stuff mm. to like protect our, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think, you know, you it's not bad at punch. all, but like not oh. as bad as before. Oh, oh. Have oh. Here. oh. Yeah. hi. Hi. Hey, Sarah. Come uh, on, Jules. Oh, Jules is here. Yeah. Hi, Jules. What is this? Oh, it's uh, Claude. Do you want to explain what a special day is today? You guys, Steve, I don't know if you know Jules, this. Congratulations, by the way. Oh, this is Sarah. You have you yeah, met we her? Have met Matt. Nice to meet you, sweet pea. Congratulations um, on your graduation. We today is a special lure day because um, it is Don't Filipino it Independence Day. Yeah. So what do we have here, Jules? You just gave us a plate and didn't explain. Okay. So throughout this whole episode, we will be taste oh, te taste testing. Different that. Filipino foods. Sarah, I don't know if you have um, food allergies, but no. hopefully if you, not. And if you do, I just don't. deal with it. Right? I don't. I have nothing <laughs> in it to win so, it. So this is Pansat, Bihon, and Canton. which Pansat, Gil? It's Pansit, Bihon, <laughs> and Canton, which is going to be egg noodle and rice noodle <laughs> and uh, soy. Yeah. Go ahead. Try it. Oh, mm. my God. All the noodles are good. So is good. this um, garlic rice? Oh, and that is going to be garlic rice. What they okay. do is they take garlic, deep fry it, and then they use the oil to mix them with white jasmine rice. Mm. Oh, it's really okay. good. Really yeah, good. But hey, you can just spit out a piece but of rice. Hey, just awesome. all you have to do is just taste a little taste bit. Tested. And we'll, we'll throw it away oh, 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 because yeah. we have a fun time. We're going to have a fun time this yeah. episode. So this whole episode is going to be dedicated to my beloved motherland, the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, we're going to take a very quick break to share some of our favorite sponsors with you. You guys, we're the Slep Kingdom. Sleep is a priority in this household. I know for both the king and myself, mattress quality is of, how do you say it? Paramount mm -hmm. importance. Yep. Is that the correct word, George Kimmel? Absolutely. Which is why we only sleep on Helix mattresses. In fact, we gifted Steve our guest today, um, a Helix mattress. And every day he calls us. He's like, Kalai, Bob. <laughs> Thank you so much for changing my life. Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just two minutes to complete and matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for someone else, George? Mm. Why would you? With know. Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way you sleep. Everybody's unique and Helix knows that. So they have several different mattress models to choose from. They have soft, medium, and firm mattresses. Mattresses are great for cooling you down if you sleep hot. And even a Helix Plus mattress for plus size folks like myself, because I got them big old titties. <laughs> I took the Helix quiz. Sorry. He does have big old titties. I got big old titties and those girl hips. Give me the plus size uh, mattress. For sure. I took the Helix quiz and I was matched with the Midnight Mattress because I wanted something that felt medium and I am a side sleeper. Yeah. What I really love about the Helix mattresses is that they're soft but still very supportive. Um, and also, a true testament to the quality, all my dogs and cats sleep with me every night on that bed and they will not budge they will not move away from this bed they love it so much so if you're looking for a mattress take the quiz order the mattress that you're matched to and the mattress comes right to your door shipped for free you don't ever need to do a mattress store again hold on you don't ever need to go to a mattress store again helix is awesome but you don't need to take our word for it uh helix was awarded number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by gq and wired magazine just go to helixsleep.com slash belly and take their two minute sleep quiz and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. Uh, Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners. The pillows are great too. Uh, for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash belly. Ping. <sighs> Consider this ad your mental health checkpoint. checkpoint. How are you feeling today, Gilbert, George? I'm a little anxious. Oh, are, George? I'm feeling okay, but I been, could feel a little better. Been sleeping well? Lacking uh, focus? No, I have not been sleeping. Why, well. George? Oh, you have a child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. George is a new daddy. Mm. But even if you're not a new daddy and you just like sleep in general or not feeling anxious, Calm is the app for you. It surely is the app for me. 
We're partnering with we're partnering with Calm, the number one mental wellness app, to give you the tools to improve the way you feel. Clear your head with guided daily meditations. Improve your focus with Calm's curated music tracks, and drift off to dreamland with Calm's imag- imaginative sleep stories. My favorite thing to do at night is to take a shower, decompress, put on my little sleepy hat and pajamas, tuck myself into bed, and then I listen to the ten minute guided meditations that help me with my sleep and you guys i'm telling you it is a life Mm. changer an absolute life changer um and if any of you go to calm.com slash belly you'll get a limited time offer of 40 percent off a calm premium subscription which includes hundreds of hours of programming and new content is added every week uh over 1 million people around the world use calm to take care of their minds sleep more stress less live better with calm for listeners of the show, Calm is offering a special limited time promotion of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash belly. Go to calm.com slash belly for 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. That's calm.com slash belly. Enjoy the rest of the show. Here we go. Um, but Steve, I wouldn't hang on to that stuff must roll off your shoulder. Oh, think, yeah, for right? sure. I just, you know, we won't talk about it again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but it, under the bridge. I have a hard time <laughs> believing on a podcast you're not going to talk about your dry nuts. But well, someone wrote me. They were like, hey, can you help Steve out? I'm like, what is happening? And they're. And you want me to show you? I can show. Show it to me. Right. Sure. Come on, Steve. <laughs> you're my brother. Come yeah. here. <laughs> Steve. Sarah, but you're <laughs> bad, <laughs> Sarah. For no, I'm not going to. No, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Steve, you can't, you can't throw it out there and not do it. Steve, no, no, no. put it in my hand now. So, show her. We'll blur it. Aim that way. When have you ever not? It's okay. I've I've Steve. taken you all your medical stuff. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait go closer. Okay. Here. Why are the legs <laughs> like that though? Yeah, don't open your legs. Just Why let are it you hang doing out. Your legs like that. Here, don't show Sarah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Point Just, it towards. No, I mean, how come? Okay. I mean, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not dry. It's not dry at all. See, I moisturized. It's very right. pink and moist. You're doing no, so no, good, Steve. Yeah, yeah I moisturized. Dude, congrats! It looks I so much better than the last time. It's good, right? So why do you keep saying it's dry? I just keep saying it's not. Why'd you hold it like that, though? Hey, Steve. Also, uh, <laughs> why'd you, why'd hey, you hold it like hey, that? Hey, Steve. Here you go. Hey, Steve. <laughs> I hate it. Here you go. This is some hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> Don't analyze the way I grabbed my nutsack. But you only. <laughs> you, Please you, don't do that. Bro, you push the ball <laughs> through like, your can hand. Can I just show you what he did? <laughs> he, was, he was holding it, but then he only made this small of a window. I, I, I grabbed it like a balloon. <laughs> and then he. Like, at the end of a balloon. It. Just the squeezed part. I just, you don't <laughs> like those. You choke uh, it. But do you know, like, those um, stress balls? Yeah, just a little bit. I grabbed it like a stress just ball. Just a little bit. <laughs> because he wanted yeah. it to look shiny. Yeah, I know what you did. I know what yeah. you did. But Most it looks shiny, right? You have no hair on your balls. Good. Oh, I shave every day. Sh- you don't shave? Every day? Oh, my God. I'm not allowed no. to. My lady won't. I don't do me. it now. Oh, wow. You don't shave? Oh, of course. You do shave your nuts? The pandemic took over. Okay. Manscaped. Man, it's good being here. I, dude, I haven't been. Oh, it's like a reunion. How are your teeth? <laughs> What's wrong with your teeth? I took them to the dentist. Yeah, many yeah, no, times. no, it's all good. Yeah, I, I think I'm. I have. I made some improvements. Like uh, my hygiene's good. Uh, you know, like I, I don't smell and. Yeah. It's like smoother were you missing, down there. You, were you missing teeth? No, but the you know like me and Bob, we're like our our whole thing Bad was teeth, like yeah. uh, we have like a phobia of dentists or something. Yeah. But no, everything. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk about um, relationships a little bit? Yeah, I mean, because it's been six months. Yeah, I uh, I went through a breakup. Yeah, I knew mm-hmm. I knew his girlfriend. She was a yeah. part of the fam. She was a lovely, lovely girl. Yeah, I have nothing but love for her. Nothing bad to say about her. Almost um, five years, sir. What happened? Just, psh, you know. You were together almost five years. Five, four, and a, four and a half. You were together four and a half yeah, years. You guys yeah. lived together? Oh, we didn't live together? No. And that was, a, that was a part of the problem is because... Um, Cause I've thought about it a lot and I'm like, damn, I should have been a little bit more mindful on like her needs, you know, like I'm so stubborn cause of, you know how, you know how frugal I am. <laughs> just Can I just tell this one story? Oh, um, tell it, tell it. Uh, just, just uh, think about your words. We can cut it out if it's not, if, it, if you don't want <laughs> it. Think, yeah, just think, really think about it. Cause there's already a lot out there and like, yeah. it doesn't help me. Like, because Jeremiah keeps saying it, too. It's you just so Steve funny frugal. to me. You know Steve's frugal. No, it's the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. You were like, It's hey, not malicious. Bob, Kalei, let's go to the arc light on me. 
Okay. Bobby and I could not have sprung from our chairs any faster. We were like, holy shit, Steve is treating us to a movie. <laughs> so we go to the arc light. He actually pays, right? And then he's like, oh, I'm just going to go back to your place with you guys after the movie. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to clean around and stuff like that. I was like, clean Steve is going to wow. treat us to a movie and clean, and clean our house? Did I ask for money? No, you took it out of my piggy bank. <gasps> Steve. A piggy bank I must have been really struggling back then. You were. You were struggling. But yeah, I am so sorry I did that. <laughs> that is so inappropriate. <laughs> how, many, how much did he take? I but don't know. I mean, if the movie was 80, I he took 100. Done that. I haven't done that. I'm just letting, in my defense, I haven't done that in a long time. You know which piggy bank, right? Oh, how could I is forget? It <laughs> were you a, that, were the, you egg? I know that. It's Thank you. It's, it's, There's just money. Wait, hold on, it's you one, took it from the oh the one with I the, used the, to take it from. Oh the, yeah, wait, wait, Sarah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, back yeah. Me up, back I know me up. what it is. I oh. mean, didn't offer to take people. Did you front the money and then you came? Oh, back I was clean? just, I was just, man, I needed, <laughs> I just needed to survive. Like I, <laughs> that's okay, because you know I've worked like sh regular job, I like know, Steve. coffee bean and tea leaf. Circle Starbucks, K, I feel Jamba, uh, Jamba Juice. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, I I could go down the list of, yeah. you know, I've done the whole thing, the blue, yeah. I understand. That's Steve. why I'm so, like, stoked that, you know, this, like, you know, we get to make money on content now. Hey, Steve, <laughs> so. I just yeah. want to normalize this for you <laughs> for a minute, from my heart. I, I want you to look at me in my eye. I used to do that, too. Like... Meaning that even when I was with Bobby, I worked like three fucking jobs. Like I worked at Starbucks at the you bakery called Sweet Lady Fucking Jane. I worked <laughs> every fucking day sweating. Oh, and Bobby yeah. would be like, quit one. I was like, no. You know what I mean? Like I just I was like, I have to get my own See? shit. But Bobby, the piggy bank, uh -huh. would put money in this piggy bank. He'd be like, just take, just take money. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So every day I just my fucking chubby little arm oh, wow. in there. Cigarette Take money, out money. Gator, yeah. Uh, yeah. Money, and you everything. get Canadian dollars sometimes. It's okay. Oh, yeah. You know when I felt the most shameful? I, I was working at Fat Sal's. And what Bob used to do is, <laughs> <laughs> And then I was in the kitchen. And I remember I had to do the walk of shame because, like, my manager's like, I think your brother's here. And I had my apron on. And I just remember, like, having to walk. Out there, but man, that was a hard job. I had a bag meat. I was washing dishes. Yeah. I almost lost my fingernail. I know oh. uh, when I was making a milkshake because I was the um, milkshake. They called me the milk, the Bruce Lee of milkshake. Yeah, yeah. Guy. Kind of racist, but yeah. But uh, it was racist, yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, kind of, okay. And I remember, yeah. like, you know how like the orders. Not gonna lie, that's fucked up. I was like, that's a great one. <laughs> You're like, that's hilarious. <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. I'm terrible. Not about Bruce Lee. That, I'm, that's fucked up. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's fucked. <laughs> So like the the orders kept piling up like the tickets. Yeah. So I was like panicking because I had to do like the mozzarella <laughs> cheese stick. Then I had to wash the dishes. I was like multitasking in there. Yeah. And then I remember, I was I was like panicking. And then there's like these big cartons of um ice, you know. Mm. And they sometimes they get stuck at the bottom. And then it, you know when the ice cream gets low, you have to kind of dig yeah. your arm in your there. Your whole body in there. So yeah. you know how like like on the outside of the liner was this. Uh, metal silver lining mm. and so I I like I did <gasps> oh, I, like, no. I, I like try to it got caught yeah my finger now uh. got lodged in the um out the, the metal the liner metal, the me yeah. metal liner oh. so I was just screaming for uh I think my boss's name was Zane I'm like Zane you know I was like <laughs> yelling for his name but oh. we know I mean those are hard jobs hard jobs man so um what's the worst out of all of those jobs which one did you hate the most Oh, I already know. Go ahead, Sarah. I already well, know. there's a. I have a long. I got a long of those list. Jobs. Too. Yeah. Most of my. I mean, I worked at the the Kentucky State Fair. Ooh. That, that was fun. a bad one. I mean, it's fun, but you're. I was worked at the Greater Tater Hut, so it was like in the <laughs> middle of summer, and in August in Kentucky, as you know, it's very humid. And like, and it was just two big vats of grease, and they never mm. change out the vase, the vase, the grease for the whole fair. That's gross. So, yeah. and at the time I was younger and prone to acne. And <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, and like doing these grease and there's like a line of 200 people out there who want like a twirled potato with extra cheese. You know what I mean? You're like, fuck you. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> breaking on white heads. I have one blackhead growing as I was taking. You know what I mean? Oh. Horrible. And like they're demanding like four ladles of cheese. And I have a manager who's like, just give him one ladle. I see it. You know, and you're like, ah, fucking fuck. You know, it's a dilemma. So it's stuff like that. And I was terrible at customer service and food because eventually I would just give it away. I was like, just take it. Mm. Just take the food. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want it. Just just take it. Don't tell anybody, like, are you sure I'll pay? I was like, no, nah, just take it. That must have been hard working <laughs> at the fair, huh? It was horrible. Like the but weather. I did that for years. Oh, God, yeah. Anytime yeah. you're working in a kitchen or with grease, it's rough. Horrible. You know? Sushi dance for me. Well, that the worst? that's the one where, th- was that the stab? Well, yeah, I almost got in a fight with the sushi chef. Oh, my God. And then I almost got in a fight with the uh, uh, manager, too. Steve, it's I'm... It's the way they talk to me. Was d- you know, I would not square up with a sushi chef, though, because they're just so good with knives, and they have, they, you know, they're all about accuracy. I know, but the way uh, he talked to me was... Uh, a bit condescending and really disrespectful. You know, my friend Sam got stabbed by the sushi chef. What? I didn't care. I blacked out anyway. Oh, Sam Sam. Oh, he got stabbed? He got stabbed. Yeah, I was already in the red zone with him. Um, but then they yeah. kind of kept it on the down low and they were like, here's some money. Just don't like report to the police. Yeah, that's assault. Mm. And uh, yeah, he could have got jail time for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, it, the way he talked to me was, he would be like, "Yeah, shik ya, you go, go, go," you know. He would speak Korean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he would speak yeah. Korean. And he go, "Yeah, shik ya, you go, you go, go," and I'd be like, "Hey, man, like, you can't talk to me like that. We're in America now, dude. Like, oh. <laughs> like this is America, you know. We're not in Korea. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can't talk, you know. And then I remember, so that happened." And then that's hard work because, like, especially if it's like an eight top, mm. yeah. And you're not even you're not even a waiter or waitress. You're a bar back slash busser. Yeah, 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 no respect. So you're not even getting the real true tips. No tips. You're getting the tips from yeah. <laughs> from the waiters and waitresses. <laughs> trickle and, down. Yeah, <laughs> it's a trickle the down last effect. Oh eight percent of everybody's. Yeah, thing. and then even the woman manager, she was Korean too. But yeah. I remember like she. Oh, oh God, what? We got more another food? dish. Okay. Food. Food. All right. Thank you so much. What is it? Which Say it out loud, Jules. This is lechon kawali with your. Oh, lechon. Um, do you eat pork? You eat, yeah, I eat everything. Okay. Hold up. I don't want to like disrespect the food. Let me let me try. Yeah, mm. try it. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Jules. <laughs> Thank you, Jules. Thank what you what so a weird much. episode so far. This is wonderful. Mm. I bet you're eating a deep fried pork. Oh, thank you. It's very yeah, healthy. Thank you, Jules. Thank you very much. Mm, thank you so much. Ooh. Hey, you can get a job working at a restaurant while you're in school. Mm. Mm-hmm. Jules, I think everyone should work once, either retail or in the One service time. industry. I agree. Teaches you a lot, humbles you a lot. Oh, I just crispy. Any thoughts mm. on this? The taste? Mm. We like to get your uh, perspective on this dish. It's. Oh. I love it, dude. Yeah. I was with so the, I was with Irony for like oh. yeah yeah I'm you used to uh, you know, and he's been to the Philippines and I am not isn't that crazy? What I know we got you to haven't gone Sarah no. X you have to go Filipino. dude no. Filipino? okay mm-hmm. okay okay so I make the story I'll make the story uh, short yeah. so yeah the, the the female manager would like because I smoked back then and she would like make me walk like to the other end of the mall yeah and I was just like God I I can't do this I just can't do this anymore you know and that's when Bob remember when Bob was living um. Above the comedy store, yeah, oh yeah, is that where it's Polly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, well, yeah well, I was Polly together then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I met were, Bobby right? when he lived over like Sunset Junction. He lived in a really small apartment over in Silver Lake. Oh, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's when I first met him. What are you saying, George? The dumpster. The dumpster. <laughs> yeah. Yep. No, no, no. This is post dumpster. <laughs> the the OG dumpster is when all of us lived there. Yeah. On the third floor. <laughs> and remember, Bob booked that IBM. Global, oh. the big one, the, yeah. the, the, the Cobra Knot campaign. Yeah, mm-hmm. did he think he was a big shot then when he booked it? Uh, he flashed me. I remember he showed me his check. <laughs> oh, he showed you his check. Of course he did. No, <laughs> we were on Melrose, <laughs> and he goes, he goes, <laughs> and then you know this is when he hit. Um, remember how, how Bob loved diesels? Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Oh yes, we would go the diesel. Yeah, the diesel or, jeans. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. Because that was like one hundred. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we thought that in high school, you thought diesel was like the top of the line, the most sheet. expensive thing, right? Yeah. Oh, he had every pair. Yeah. He had every pair. But so we're on Melrose, and then he goes out of his pocket. He goes, Oh. <laughs> this is the way I do it, dude. <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on. He goes like this. No. 
this is the way I'm doing it, dude. Yep. That's Bobby, yeah. How are you doing it? Yeah. How are you doing it? <laughs> yeah, this, you know what I mean? And, <laughs> does that sound accurate? It sounds, <laughs> it couldn't be more accurate. <laughs> This is the way I'm doing it. This is the way. How are you doing? <laughs> Something like that. You're put me in a rage. I can't stand. But you know what? It's so God sad. always gives us like counters to those it moments. It was like a hundred thousand dollars. It was so much. Money. Oh my god. <laughs> so, so let me not forget the trajectory. Um, that's when. Okay, so this is. Uh, he, we're in the dumpster, and then he got that money, yeah. and he moved like two floors down, and that's <laughs> what the apartment you're talking about. So it wasn't no the shit. dumpster. Oh, oh, you guys lived in that hole. Yeah, we all lived at that's the crazy. dumpsters, like <laughs> okay, us and like okay. ten skateboarders and junkies <laughs> yeah. and just random people. <laughs> and then Bob got the code or not campaign. Yeah, and then he moved down, got his own spot. His own mm-hmm. Fancy boy. Mm-hmm. You you booked something too though at that time you were in a Did massive you Starburst commercial you were in a massive commercial yeah the star, oh, sorry, star, like, oh, wait, sorry, Starburst Starburst okay. <laughs> that, that was a I, really funny that was commercial. a good one that was a, that was a good one you know how they're um, mm-hmm. rerunning like old ones that were mm-hmm. successful back then that's one that they should do again you liked it that one was a good one where you make the baby cry yeah hey Jimmy come see the baby <laughs> <laughs> wait, what was the accent for that it was a Chinese hey, hey come see the baby <laughs> <laughs> that was rich. I don't know. Come and see the baby. Come see the baby. Come see the baby. Come and see the baby. And I remember they had to like, um, because I kept missing my mark. Uh. And then so they're like, I had to like act like, you know, I'm doing my own thing. And then I had to hit this mark and then out of my pocket have a sour starburst and then put it in my mouth. And then by the time I got to the baby, I had to like make the face. (laughs) (laughs) And then, yeah. But, you know, that was hard to book because every time I got I kept coming back for the callback. There's a, another like young like Asian kid, mm. so I'm like, oh my god! And you know how like shallow I got? You know how shallow they were? The whatever the uh, people the um, the casting the casting yeah. people on the last one, they brought another kid, like who didn't even go through the other mm. auditions, and then I overheard them. We we're in front of the Vista Theater. Remember the mm-hmm. Vista? I do. Yeah. We we're eating um, cut lemons, and then I remember one of them saying. Uh, Pick the other one. Uh, his hair is more like Bruce Lee's. <laughs> Everyone, Bruce Lee and Why? you. Dude. Was that their was only I, reference for anything? Their only Bruce reference Lee? is Bruce Lee. Lee? Like, I know, is but he's because I guess I had sideburns, <laughs> and so I heard that, and I'm like, oh, this is how it works. <laughs> wow. Oh, that sweet. was your audition. Wow. That was my last audition. That was like my whatever the last callback. The callback. Thing, okay, you know? and then you booked it. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. how that's how I do it. That's yeah. how you do that's it. That's how you do it. No, but I didn't that's make a hundred thousand dollars. Do it. I didn't make a hundred thousand dollars. No, but you know, you were doing commercials, weren't you, Sarah? <laughs> I did. I did. Like with Aqua, right? Didn't because Bob got everyone either origin. He or Aqua. did. We were, we were all uh, repped by Aqua at one point. Were you too? <laughs> I was there for like six you months. Were you know who is too? Gardo. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I remember. I like Gardo. Gardo, yeah, shout out. I've always liked Gardo. Yeah, no, great I love Gardo. Yeah. Um, but everyone, Bobby always just pulls everyone, I think, into the same. That's everyone. Yeah. And and the did you, I think his ex-girlfriend, too. <laughs> oh, I yeah. Because I think she <laughs> wanted to go. Jules is just coming out of the corner I every five you're minutes. You're not quitting, are you? <laughs> Jeez Louise. What, what's this Jules, now? What is this? Oh, is this beef? Beef steak. Wow, yeah. beef steak. Who's making all this? Oh, Jules has been cooking, dude. been cooking? The yeah. whole time? She's been cooking this whole time. You can make all this? Yeah. Thank you, Jules. Thank you very much. You can give that to George. Ooh, cutie. Mm. Oh, George gets a gets a plate now. No, so this one's just beef with soy sauce Thank and some kind so of citrus. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Good one, Jules. Mm. Fantastic, Jules. Good so, one. Yeah, continue. I it's forgot she. Skinny. You lived in the OG Tiger Belly room, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. God, now it's coming back. The big. Yeah, earth. and then your your bed was like in the middle of the room, like. It was pink. Yeah, it was yeah, pink. Yeah, yeah. Did you, was there a dollhouse? In, like there, there was, was a dollhouse. Oh, yes, I did. Because I'm like, there, I'm getting these images. Like, did you have like this? It was like this dollhouse, right? It was haunted. 
I don't know. I don't know. Answer the question. <laughs> but am I tripping? It, no, there was, was, was like a dollhouse. Sarah, I had no, no, no. to get rid of that dollhouse. That was fucked up. It, it, that was, was that yours? There. It was mine. But like, I, I, I bought it because we went on this random. Because I do like going. Dude, to the I remember. Like, it's dope. You know what? You found some fucked up. A spirit lived in some, there. I believe it. Like, I don't know why. Uh, like, we were at this store, and my friend was like, "Yo, that's that's sick." I was like, "Oh, that's great." Well, she didn't yeah. say sick at the time because that wasn't even a word. But she was like, "That's pretty," and I was like, "That's cool." And so I just. Bought it. You I know just, what I mean? It, it that sticks in my mind, out in my mind. Yeah, I, I just remember. It was beautiful. That. But you know, there's but some, was, there's there was energy, something. There's there was an energy, energy to it. That's there was an energy. energy. Yeah. I had to face it to the wall. What was because the energy? I mean, conjuring. I it was a conjuring. Yeah, conjuring part four. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what do you oh have for us? Oh That's crazy. No, because I was like, it's such a beautiful dollhouse. Yeah. But, but you're like, why is this ex-girlfriend's dollhouse in this fucking, like, why would, well, that's already. At first I tried to put a t-shirt over it, because yeah. I was like, maybe they'll trap Just the spirit. But out. then I asked Steve, I was like, Steve, is this, is there something what? in here? And he was like, Kalai, you gotta get rid of it. <laughs> Thank you so no, the, much. No, they, they moved it Thank to you. the, didn't you move it? I, I moved it. You moved it. it into the living room, didn't you? Yeah, but then Near I think the... it was confirmation, because you know you and I feel things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like spirit, like ghosts and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. For four. I'm in my fork. Oh. Thanks. Thank you. Jules, Jules, what is this? I'm so uh, bummed that you guys live with a spirit in my old dollhouse. I'm, I'm not sure it was wow. a sinister spirit, but it was something that well, yeah, there's wasn't some, there's friendly some energy either. Attached what to happened? It. Just a feeling that you got or did something Yeah, there's an the energy it? attached yeah. to it. Mm -hmm. It stuck out. When you mm -hmm. went into that house and you came into, like it was in your line of vision, you felt something. Oh, yeah. Ooh, maybe that's why I left and didn't even know it. I was like, that's, <laughs> that's so real. Okay, that, shit. Yeah. You, left, you left it there for wow. a reason. Dude, yeah. That's crazy. I've only had one other thing like that that was given to me that had the heebie-jeebies. What was it? It was a big, giant teddy bear that somebody Ooh. gave me as a gift. Yeah. It was mad, bigger than Kalila. Romantic gift? Or was this, well, what's the no, story? No, I, I, I want to say it was like just like a friendship like welcome home kind of a mm. gift like it was cool it was like a cool looking thing and i had it in my apartment in west hollywood and all kinds of, like it was like that one you just felt you're like mm -hmm. yo yeah someone took residence in that in the bear's yes. body and then one night out of nowhere i okay so i had this bag of boiled peanuts <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Boiled? Okay, Barry yeah. Somebody country. sent me like that in Moonshine Jelly from Atlanta. But anyway, so like it was up on this shelf and in the middle of the night, and by the way, this this the bag of boiled peanuts was not open. And in the middle of the night, I was laying there and all of a sudden I hear oh. clattering. Oh. Oh. No, nope. no, no. Of the whole the whole thing of peanuts fell off this shelf, opened, and fell all over my floor. Ooh. And the first thing I did, maybe that doesn't freak y'all out, but I was like, the first thing I woke up, because this bear was at the end of my bed, <gasps> like, staring. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, like, I, no, but that's what I mean. You could just, there's something. Oh, yeah. So many things mm -hmm. happened. And then I got rid of that bear. I gave it to some, like, dudes at this print company, what a long story, like, downtown. And, like, they even said the same thing. They're like, something's not right with this bear. So that's what I mean. Like, I feel like there's like... Mm -hmm. Got a Palo I, Santo that. Yo, I apologize. That's why I light so much stuff light now. That because on fire. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 I was so hungry. Good, yeah, yeah. Slow it down with a... Yeah. Give us know, more time I in between, Jules. I haven't Jules. even eaten this one. This one is adobo. <laughs> oh, I love adobo. adobo. Yeah. Wow. Hey, guys, we're going to take another quick break to share uh, a popular one in this house. I know this for a fact. Mm -hmm. I know that most of you guys have tried different ways to last longer, correct? Uh, no. But George, thinking about baseball and the seventh inning stretch and peanuts at Dodger Stadium doesn't always work, does it? No, about uh, 11 months ago, it did not work at all. You're right. That's right, you premature comer. <laughs> Decent. So good. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you premature comer. <laughs> That's right, you premature, premature ejaculator. <laughs> you disgusting person. <laughs> So great. Hey, but, but there's a way to solve this, right, guys? <laughs> of course. The <laughs> folks at Roman, an online men's health company, are changing the game with Roman Swipes, the secret to longer lasting sex. Roman Swipes are clinically proven way to last longer in bed. They're effective, easy to use, and fast acting, but don't require a prescription. Roman can ship swipes to you in discreet, unmarked packaging, and each swipes packet is small enough to hide in your wallet for whenever you need. Um, what I love most about it is that the product 
um, in itself when I when I use it on my lover. Ooh. I put it on the little tip of his head, which nice. he enjoys very much. And afterwards, the product doesn't get in on me. Like there's no oh. transferring of the fun stuff into my fun stuff. Um, and swipes are great. They will. So hold on. I already said that. They're super easy to use. Just take the swipes out of the pocket, swipe it on, let it dry, and you're good to go. That's it. Go to GetRoman.com slash Belly. Get $10 off your first order of swipes plus free two-day shipping. That's GetRoman.com slash Belly for $10 off your first order of swipes plus free two-day shipping. Don't be like George and be a pre-comer. Enjoy the rest of the show. His mom's like, wait, you need to change out mattresses. And we remember when we were in Hawaii? Dude, she, and was, I was she like, had it since like 1970. I was like, oh my, yeah, you need to. She goes, what if you don't? I was like, well, you know, things, mites and things. And I was like, well, how long have you had yours? Like 45 years mm-hmm. she's had the same mattress. Well, yeah, we don't get rid of stuff. That's just, crazy. So she's my, she's my next mattress project. Oh, thank you. That's sweet. <laughs> where is she? Where, no, where is your mom now? Gilbert. Yeah. Gilbert, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh. I was, <laughs> I was oh. like, she's in Gilbert. What? I'm sorry, I didn't. <laughs> she's sorry. what? Sorry, dude. Uh, usually she's people no, say Gilbert, Gilbert, Arizona. Usually people say Gilbert, Arizona. <laughs> oh, you said where's your mom live? Gilbert. Gilbert. <laughs> you. <laughs> Gilbert, he, did you did you cry a lot when you and Ilani? I cried uh, about that. I really oh, liked dude. you guys together. Yeah, I was devastated. Yeah. You know, like it's a thing where um. You listen to certain songs. Mm-hmm. So I was like doing that. I was listening to like, you know, love songs and stuff like that. Yeah. And, um, How long before like. But the, there's a thing. She, we did the initial breakup. She came back the next morning. Oh. This is what, this is the time we couldn't get a hold of you. And then Bobby we, we re- rekindled that. Yeah. And it's like, you know, it was like one of those things where I'm like, oh, we're back together. Let's yeah. and then like we did the whole. Th- we went to the promenade and mm-hmm. brought Kirby and you know we did the whole thing, and then we did that and then again and then she broke up with me. You know and then we really. Split. That's probably her mm-hmm. trying to be like, okay, I'm gonna give this one final shot to see if there's still something like pulling at me. I mean, it's part of life, you know. Things happen, you know. Um, and I realized too. I think I like being alone as well too. I, I've always been kind of. I think I get that from my dad, or I don't, or I don't. I will say though, your growth as a human being, when you were in a relationship, is exponential. Really? I mean, exponential. Really? I'm not saying, like, you definitely, you guys brought a lot into each other's lives, and I'm sure she could probably speak for herself as well. Like, but you really grew up. Like, you weren't, you know, little boy to Stevie yeah. anymore. Like, you were. Yeah. You know. Well, you have to because it's uh, like you're doing, you know what I mean? You became a man, Steve. No. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Come on, bro. Give her, pat thank yourself you. on the back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. So, you guys, since this is, again, a um, Filipino Independence Day episode, we wanted to um, have a little, take a little quiz, um, have a little bit of a friendly competition between uh, you and Sarah. Okay. If that's okay. Yeah. And the yeah? loser. It's like Trivial Pursuit. The I'll lo- whisper the answers in here. Okay, thank you. The loser has to do something. Okay, though. go ahead, Gil- Gilbert, break it down. So we're gonna do this competition. Whoever gets the most right wins. Doesn't have to do anything. Uh, the loser has to eat uh, your choice. Actually, no, we're gonna eat durian, and durian is a fruit. Oh, oh it smells oh, horrible. Or it smells good to some people and cultures. Some people really love it. Yeah. You yeah. have it. I've we, never. We have Annie it. Letterman loves it. We you have, have it on you? Yeah, we have some. Uh, and if you don't want to eat that, I get it. Dude, we also I, have... I, I'll do it. We also have balut you do can it. choose from. A no, I'm not doing balut. Oh, well, mean you I'll do the durian. I mean you're going to do it, Steve. <laughs> Me and you are going to do it. Okay, well, we'll get what's to the... What's the balut? balut? It's, um, She's like, what's the other option? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what else can I eat? <laughs> what's it's a the duck balut? egg. A duck, duck egg. embryo. Duck embryo. Ugh. Boiled, though. Cooked. I Okay. I've had a duck egg scramble. Okay, first question. Okay, here we go. Number one, first question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was... Go ahead, Chloe. I don't like it. Name three. Okay, name the three Filipinos from this list. So three out of four of these people are Filipino. Would you like the name? The first picture is Miranda Cosgrove. The second is Enrique Iglesias. Um, that's Dave Batista. And then the fourth one is the singer, Her. Okay. So which, Steve, which of those, which three people of those are Filipino? Do you think? You can just say, yeah, top. Or are of Filipino descent. Can I just say, like, the, the yeah. top... Uh, Think about it, man. You dated one. Top left. Okay. 
Miranda Cosgrove. Yeah. Uh huh. Bottom left. Prepare yourself. Dave Batista. And then top right. Henry King Glacius. Oh no 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 not Henry. Uh, mm -hmm. Bottom right. Bottom Her? right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Sarah, who are your choices? Her. Uh huh. Okay. The top. Uh, the top left. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh, oh, here it is. Well, because I see. Describe I'm what gonna, you're seeing. I'm going to say the bottom left. And why do you think so? Just. Because Julio Iglesias, I don't, I don't, I don't think he's Filipino. Kalila, yeah. you guys are both wrong. I. The only one who isn't Filipino there is Miranda Cosgrove. The girl. Son of Top left. Oh. Enrique has a Filipino. mom. That's the trick. He yeah. Has a Filipino mom. All right. Well, you're both zero zero. That's zero, good. Zero. That's okay. good. It's okay. still a tie. It's still a tie. Okay. All right. Next question. That was a good one. Okay. okay. What is Which of these is a Philippine national fish? <laughs> that looks like, looks that like, looks like me. <laughs> <laughs> so top left, we have the mega mouth shark. Top the right. The mega mouth shark. The parrot. That's fish. a parrot fish. That's a bungos or a milk okay. fish. And, that's and the Steve Lee. <laughs> Weeby Weeby, bottom right. The bottom right is called a, a shokoi. It's, a, it's a Filipino merman. That looks like <laughs> Dagon the fish god. Stevie Weeby. It really does look like you. Dagon. <laughs> Dagon Weeby. <laughs> All right, Stevie. Which uh, one is the Philippine national fish? Bottom left. You're going to go with Bungos. the milk. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sarah? Oh, we have to just choose one? Yeah, choose one. Which one do you think is a Filipino? Well, didn't you just say this? Just choose one. One is a Philippine national fish. Only one. Um, oh, man. All right. I guess I'll go with the uh, bingos. Good. Not fish. Wow. Both are correct. Correct. One, one. One, one. It's a tie. It's still a tie. All right. Third question. <laughs> Which country colonized the Philippines for over 300 years? USA? Spain. 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 Japan or Great Britain? Spain. Spain, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. All right. Last name. Yep, yep, yep. Even. Okay, here we go. Who is this man? Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, just guess what his profession was. A, or his he's name. A, he's a pastor. He's a priest. <laughs> Who's his name? Something I have called. no Something idea. Called. Now, what do you think he did for a living? He was a Catholic priest. Okay, Sarah, what's your um, guess? Because of the thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Who's the closest club? <laughs> His name is Jose Rizal, and he was a Filipino revolutionary who like fought off the. Come he on, was anti-Spanish. Come on, Steve. Revolutionary. On. Revolutionary. You know that. Yeah. Or a priest. Still a tie, guys. Let's move on. All right, next one. This one is uh, which two of these men is Bruno Mars? Scroll up. Oh. <laughs> Wait. They're wearing the same shirt. It could be hard. <laughs> it's the same shirt. It's a tricky one. Wait. It which of those is, is Bruno, Bruno Mars? Mars. <laughs> Can I? Left or right? Five, four, three. Uh, left two. is Bruno Mars. Stevie, five. Left. Four. Fuck you both. Good. That, that. That's me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Same shirt. <laughs> Still hold. a tie. <laughs> Still a tie. Guys, we gotta break this tie. Okay. <laughs> How um, many islands is the Philippines made of? Three, eighty-two, ooh. seven thousand, eight sixty-three. Sarah, you go first. This time. You go first, Sarah. How many? Oh Good man. Go high, go high. Go high. It, Okay. Hey! Well, oh, I didn't say anything! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like say anything! The highest? 7,000 seems too much. Eight, six, eight. Oh, I like how she broke up the numbers. Hey! 82. 7,000. Okay. Is that your final answer? 7,000. All right, Steve. I think that's her final answer. And then, Steve, you can't pick whatever she chose, so feel free to <laughs> choose another one. 82. <laughs> Sarah is up one, Steve. What? <laughs> it's 7, 000, over 7,000 islands. Over 7,000. All right. This is the final one. This is the final one. This, I get to judge this. This is three points. This is a three-pointer. Read the following phrase to the best of your ability. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hold on. You, can you wait. zoom oh, in? Oh, this is going to bad for me. No, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Steve. I feel like if, you have a, if you're from the South like me, you can I probably have a better chance of getting mm -hmm. this than someone from the city. I'll say that. Okay. Just say this. Each vowel is its own word. Hey. Okay, sorry. I have to say, you have <laughs> Steve, you, you're up one. Okay, you're right. You right. go. Remember, we have durian on the line okay. and balut. Ka kata, kata, sta san. Okay. Uh, Oops, oh. right. oh, 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 oh. Kata, sta san. Okay. Kaglan, kaglan, kalang, gang. Uh -huh. 
kata punan mm. nagmagal anak big bayan <laughs> good so i didn't even hear that you're right. sweating it's not good <laughs> just sweating your legs <laughs> you sweat your legs are sweating <laughs> okay <laughs> it's going to be bad for me no I, just fall. do your best i don't think i can say it i don't think gilbert can either i will not get this uh steve no come <laughs> steve Wait. Okay. All Each vowel, vowel is what? It's a say oh, al, oh, it, a, Yeah. Say every vowel. Every vowel. If it's two A's, you go ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. You have to. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. okay. Steve. Kata ah ah este ah ah san. So cocky. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay. Kaga kaga lang mm? ga lang gang gang. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Katupunan. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Ninga. Nung nung. Nunga. Imga. Manga. Manga. Uh-huh. Anak. Uh -huh. Ooh. Ninga. Nung. Bayan. Steve. Steve. Stevie. <laughs> did you lose? She did way better. Oh, shit. Steve. She actually did. Because she said katipunan, right? Which is like the ultimate word you have to get. Correct. So, Steve, uh, uh, our friend, our friend bring, is here. Our, bring the durian. Our friend's here. <laughs> Our friends here. Bring the durian fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we're not what? eating balut. Sarah won. Thank I just you, don't baby. have to eat Thank the balut. Ooh. If you want to, are you eating one, Jules? This is a this is the ducking. Yeah, this is a you duck embryo. Just, you just want to? See. I will do it. Yeah. I'll do it with you. You will? Let's yeah. Do it. I want to do it. Steve, if we're, we're all hey, you know what? Steve, do it with the, us. The, this the is a team sport. No, no, listen. The trick is you got to break the top first. Steve. Steve. I hey, really, Steve. I really messed this up. This is a promo for I Scissor Bro Challenge. But look. Sarah, tell us about um Sorry. No, I well, I went to the farmer's market and they were selling these and I was like, oh <laughs> sounds so much interesting, more interesting than duck eggs. Yep. So like I was like, that's fantastic. I'll take three of them. <laughs> and like I went home and I scrambled them. We well, just like, mashed oh, you just mashed and opened yeah, it. Yeah. Like a the... scrambled egg. Yeah. It was horrible. No, because the texture was horrible. Horrible, but that's the one time I was like, I recognize these. <laughs> it did not go well. It did okay. not, but they said it was very high in protein. I was like, that's dope. You want to break the, the I, top first? I really don't want to do this. Just try your best, hey, Steve. Steve. But I'm gonna. <laughs> Scissor Bros. This Scissor is a Bros. challenge. <laughs> <laughs> do it, all right? Okay. Honestly, you should do this in Scissor Bros too. The yeah. yeah, you should have you should have that sweet white boy from Kansas eat balut. Why is, How do you? Why is this one extra hard? Do we crack it? I don't it. know when you guys bought this, but I'm not trusting. I'm but, not even looking at it. Yeah, here, you know, the best way to eat balut, honestly, is in the dark. And Jules, do you have <laughs> hot sauce? <laughs> Turn off the no, lights. There's salt in the is okay, salt there's make salt. it there's better? Salt. Yes, the salt will make it better. Wait, here, let me help that? Sarah. Jules, have you eaten one of these? Here we go. I'll go first. Uh, hold, yeah, on, no, hold, no, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have to crack wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, crack here. Do you crack it? Yeah. Wait, just with your hand? No, 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 here. How do you do it? How do you do it? So you crack the top, and then you just go... Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's a good one. Is that good? So it's got some... You have to eat it from the... <laughs> that's a good one. It had a beak okay. in that one. That's the one you had Very juicy. Well, I didn't even let it get like this. I just literally scrambled it like a... Fucking <laughs> a duck egg. That's oh not my... bad. That's fresh. What kind... What kind of... Okay. <laughs> so I'm eating a duck? That No, no. It's Is it a duck? Embryo. It's an embryo. An embryo of a duck? Cool, you know what? Scissor bros. Scissor bros. Scissor bros. Scissor bros. Scissor bros. Scissor bros. Duck eggs. Scissor bros. Okay. But Gilbert can show you. Dude, I, this looks like <laughs> alien. Show the camera. Show the camera. This looks yeah. like alien part one. <laughs> what is that? Is the embryo? How do you like do this? Yeah. All right, uh, so keep rocking it. Okay. Do you see a lot of it? So Joel, is he doing yeah. it right? Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is so <gasps> messed up. Um, Scissor bros. You're going to this Scissor Brothers. Here, we're gonna take this. Oh my just, god! Like so anyone listening to right now on audio, uh, so, we are doing Sarah has just it doesn't smell bad, right? This, it smells like an egg. It smells like an egg. Yeah. It, it tastes like, like an egg. No, 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 I'm in it. I'm into it. So okay. how do you when do you eat it? Now. now. Just don't break your teeth on the right, hard you top ate part. Yours, didn't you? Yeah, it was you delicious. Yours. George, you don't have one. All right. Yeah. Uh, you know, do you want one? Do you yeah. want to eat one? To, no, no, no. I'm gonna do it. 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 Is this the correct way to do that's it? My yeah, southern, yeah, just that's eat. my southern sister first. right there. Thank you so much. Let's go, y'all. Uh, like this? What? 
Don't make that noise. I haven't done it yet. Steve, stop Ready? gagging. Just eat it. Yeah, just this eat it. This is a delicacy in her culture, Steve. Right Respect <laughs> it. It's not Respect bad. Respect Jules. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not bad. But why? It's not that bad. I think Sarah it's wins. Not that bad. Sarah wins this round because look at Steve. He's, He's crying. In the south. It's not that bad. Steve, Steve it's fuck, not that Steve? bad, Steve. Stevie, that's not that bad. <laughs> Steve, it's juicy it out of salt. your teeth. Close salt your mouth. Salt would be good. Here, salt, salt would be good. Here, here, here. Let me put some salt on there. Salt too. would be good. Steve. Steve, it's why? not bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Steve, don't spit it out. You have to swallow it. Hey. It's not that bad. Steve, I'm it's gonna... Filipino Independence Day. No, you don't. <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> swallow it, Steve. I can't, I can't stand it. No, Steve, I can stand it. I like it. Guys. Actually, this is really good. Sarah won that round. Good. I, I'm a, I'm a half Filipino. There you're, you go. You're my honorary Filipino. Thank you. So you're good, Steve. You're good, Steve. Ugh, you was, got it. Jeez, you did really good, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you juicing on your chin so good? Okay. <laughs> That's the most juicing. Look at the camera. It was so good. It was really good. Why are you juicing <laughs> really like that? That's a good Why are you question. like? Does your look so like, greasy? Why are you doing that? <laughs> oh, oh God. <laughs> It's, it's really good. Good job, Steve. Good job. Really good. good. And you know what? Right to wash there. that down, Steve, I, w I have a dessert for you. Jules, can you pass in the dessert? Steve, okay. Oh, yeah. Just Steve, it. just keep in mind that's a new couch. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. We're good. I'm that's good. It. I'm getting clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And what we have here uh, that was great. is Darian. The reason we're doing this is because we served you, what, 12 beautiful, beautiful delicious dishes. Filipino dishes? Yeah. So, so you have good. to try the other end. Oh, you okay there? <laughs> hold up, hold up. That, that <laughs> last one. <laughs> what, there, is, Was there, it, is there a beak in there? There can be. And there's um, some, that one didn't beak. have a beak. That one didn't. Mine had a little. Some do, one. though. Yeah. yeah, some right. do, yeah. It just tastes like a good egg. It's just a really strong it's egg. It's a strong egg. Strong egg. Yeah. It's a uh, Sarah, you don't have to eat that because you won the competition, but if you'd like to be adventurous, feel is free. Is this the Dorian? That mm -hmm. is the Dorian. I'm going to do you it. You have to eat the whole thing? Look at her. She's going for everything. Mm -hmm. You keep fighting this, dude. I know. You got to eat this the whole thing? Good. Dude, have her on Scissor Bros. Yeah, She's going to kill it. You should get her on Scissor Bros. Wait. No. Do you want to guide them, Kalila? Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me guide you. You can't just eat that whole thing. Like, do you want to? Oh, okay. do you want to? Okay. Oh, do you want to? No, 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 don't eat it. Show don't them? eat the whole thing. Hey, hey, there's a, there's, there's a, something. There's a funny smell. <laughs> Sweet. What do you? What does it smell like? Sweet. Sweet. Describe it. <laughs> it's similar to poo, but it's not poo. <laughs> it's like garlic poo. No. Why is she not? Yeah. This is crazy. Wow, lady. you. She's an Annie Letterman. She doesn't. Yeah. 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 I think mm. this might be like it's not that the actually, Midwest. But food, oh, it's not that food bad. Food from the South is is just I mean it's not compared like it's yeah. way different. But like it's, I grew up eating giblets. Do you know what I mean? It's still yeah. some crazy shit. There's some you frog whole, legs. Do you eat the whole thing? Hammer, Turtle. Uh, foot hooves of like, alligator. Eggs. Uh, pig foot. Yeah. Yeah. Just take a bite. Big bite, Steve. Have you eaten alligator? I have. Yeah. Crazy, okay. right? Well, take a big bite. It's good. <laughs> it Fried. tastes okay. It's Fried. a little amphibian. Steve. <laughs> How is it? How is it? Do you like it? Chew in, do some uh, chew like into it? the mics. We have some ASMR. Wow. You like it? Mm -hmm. Steve. Claude, I think this is a sweet okay. one. Claude, it doesn't smell bad. Okay, so, okay. Hey, where did you get this one, George? Here we go. We got it from uh, Seafood City, maybe? Hold up. What's that aftertaste? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try this. Wow, Steve. What the yeah. hell? Bro, Steve. Okay. <laughs> Claude, okay. that's good. Right in. Yeah. Wait. And it's a there is a little aftertaste. Mm. What's the stuff on the outside? It's just like a milky kind of. Uh, I shouldn't have said milky. Claude, did you smell <laughs> it? He took a bite. Did you smell it? I can't smell anything. This is why I know this is the milder durian. It's not wow. bad. It's good. It's not bad. Has like a. Steve, you are right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I did it. It's mm -hmm. tough. There's it's hard. There's a seed there's a in seed the middle. There. There's, there's a seed. A seed. There's, there's a seed in the. Tooth. There's a seed in the middle. Girl, I've already lost two. <laughs> I'm missing. We used to call Bobby Black Tooth. <laughs> did he tell you that? <sighs> did he just King have a Black Tooth? tooth. No, Bobby, he always... make a sticker. What? Bobby King Blacktooth. Bobby, we used to call him King Blacktooth because oh. all of his teeth in the back were mm -hmm. black holes. Well, he chews. Well, how does he eat his he food? No, Three teeth? He no longer has those teeth. <laughs> Good. They have since perished. No, I think it's like it's definitely like a. I mean, he did a lot of drugs too. Bobby, I've th lost two teeth. Bobby Three Tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby That's his mafia name. His Bobby mob three name. Tooth. Bobby Three Tooth. <laughs> Bobby Three Tooth. <laughs> When he when he eats, it's hard to watch him, right? He goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Here's the thing. <laughs> you do learn to gum it. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm missing. Oh, yeah. you just stick. I you eat just grapes it? in between those two. 
missing teeth. Yeah. You just have to practice, right? Yeah. But his thing is that like, he always wants to go to steak houses and he always orders steaks and he, and he has to swallow it whole because he can't mm-hmm. chew it. So he oh. takes these big chunks and he just like, you just see that big piece just <laughs> go, <laughs> go down mm-hmm. his neck. I, I hate that fucking smell. You don't like it? Yeah, I it's, hate fu- it's funky. It's like a sock. I have to admit the durian was easier for me than the balut. Yeah. Really? It was very Balut's good. just egg to me. I don't think they were either. They weren't, neither one of them were bad. They were both delicious. I've heard about yeah. durian a lot, yeah. but it's not that bad. Uh, mm. Yeah, we didn't get a stinky one. We were it okay, did it smell a little better. funky. I'm really it's, proud you of you even, guys. It can, you can't really describe the smell. It smells really specific. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Sulfur. Can Bob get like um, dentures or implants? Can you can he just get fake teeth in there? Yeah, I mean he's got money. I don't for yeah, someone does who he has money, that? he sure has very little teeth. <laughs> why doesn't he just do it. that? He but, doesn't, but he doesn't like the dentist, right? Yeah, but he likes but food. He likes food, but if you don't, like, it's that's implants are hard. It's painful. Yeah, it is. It's painful. It's so painful. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Have you have you had him? No, I won't get them. I'm missing two teeth, but I won't get them because it's too. They stick a. A rod up mm-hmm. there. Oh, they stick a rod fist. in your gums. They don't. They don't fist it. Um, and then they have. You have to wait a while for it yeah. to heal before you put the actual implant they put on a, there. I screw a rod uh-huh. and it mm-hmm, pulls mm-hmm. your tooth in. So most people don't want to do that, especially if you don't see it. We did it. We did it. Do we have an unhelpful advice this week, Gil? We do. We okay. have a question. Unhelpful advice with uh, Kalila. I love your shoes, Sarah. Yeah, you like them. Uh-huh. And Stevie Weed. Does it say El Nino? No. La, uh, <laughs> this is like the Nike of China, Lining. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so good. You really? Yeah. So good. Can you get me a pair? Yeah. I mean, they're on. Uh, there's a store on Fairfax. Is that Dwayne Wade's shoe? No, yeah. He's spo- How did you know he's sponsored by them? Because every NBA player now has a shoe in China. Yeah, he's, he's their Wade, premier yeah. player. Dwayne Wade's um, yeah. um, sponsored by Lai Ning. Oh, well, this... They're a Chinese company. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. All right, guys, that here's the, here's the unhelpful question. <laughs> that free, balloon was hard for me. Feel free to give helpful advice. <laughs> Very hard. Or unhelpful advice, Steve. Here we go. He is so, so for a job for the summer, I help an uncle deliver packages, and my grandma also helps him to when I don't want to go with my uncle. Wait, can you start from the beginning? My yeah. Mind yeah, 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 yeah. My mind yeah. wandered. Yeah. Can you start? Can you read okay. slower? I short-circuited yeah, slower as well. Slow, slow, slow. So for a job for the summer, I help my uncle deliver packages, and my grandma also helps him when I don't want to go with my uncle. Well, today. I guess, sorry, Gilb, I got lost again. Yeah, yeah, for, uh, slower, <laughs> so, a lot slower, slow, slow, slow. Yeah. So for a job for the summer. Slower than that. Oh. Really slow, very slow. So for a job for the summer. <laughs> <laughs> I help an uncle deliver packages. I don't know why I'm turning it to like- Why are you doing voiceover? <laughs> Dude, just do it slower in your normal voice. How slow do you want it, bro? (laughs) So so for a job for the summer, I help an uncle deliver packages. And my grandma also helps him when I don't want to go with my uncle. So sometimes Can you start from the beginning? Though? My mind wandered again. Oh sorry, God. one yeah, last see, time. This is I'm last, so sorry. Hey, do, hey, I know. Th- hold up. If you do this one more time, I'm, we yeah. have another no, bullet no, no, for you. No, we no, have no, another no. bullet for you. Can I not take the mannequin home either? Because I don't think I have room for that thing. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, because that'd be weird if I had a... I'm kind of scared of it. What if we cut her body in half? We'll give you the top half. No. You want the bottom or top? <laughs> None of that. <laughs> no. But can Continue you name her? with your email. Wait, can you name her? Name her for um, us. She looks like a Meredith. Ew. Look at her beautiful brown skin. Yeah, why did you go for Meredith? Bridget. <laughs> Sarah, what do you think? Um, mm. Joanna. No, I was trying to think of the... <laughs> One of the, <laughs> what? the um, the, oh, was it Brittany? I was trying to. The, yeah, the, she looks like Brittany. 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 I don't know where that came from. Brittany. Brittany. Wow. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All of that. I totally need to move on. Up. Yeah. Mannequin. You know, it's just yeah, close. It's, you've yeah. graduated. Yeah, I gotta move, move on. on. Yeah. I gotta move back. Move mannequin. on. Right, Sarah. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree. Okay, back what to if you. you. What if we see you take this poodle one instead? You want the poodle? <laughs> You've moved on. <laughs> You've moved on to something else. Back to the email. Okay. So for a job for the summer, I help my uncle deliver packages, and my grandma also helps him when I don't want to go with my uncle. Today, I didn't want to go and enjoy this day. And re- Sorry, this sentence is really weird. Uh, basically, I didn't want to go today, and I come to find out my grandma fell out of the truck and went to the hospital with a fractured knee and toes. Now I feel like a piece of shit for not going to help. I feel like it's all my fault, and these people in my family are saying I should have been there. 
it just feels like in my mind they're saying it's all my fault. Are they right? So basically oh. he didn't help his uncle, which means his grandma had to take his place and then she fell out of the truck and fractured basically her. I no. get it. Unless, I understand. Un unless you ripped her body out of that truck yourself, it's not your fault. Yeah. Shitty things happen yeah. when you make it, it's that's what families do. Well, shitty parents do. Is that they, they, they like to throw on this like thick layer of guilt and then you hang on to it for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. and it's a horrible, horrible thing to do, but no, it's not your fault. It's not his fault. Have not you guys had a moment when uh, you were very guilty and people made you feel like shit yeah. for it? Mm, I have to think about that one. Yeah, all the yep. time. Like every time your parents are like, you should have mm -hmm. done this or else this wouldn't, have, you know, if you hadn't done this, this wouldn't have happened. And I'm like, they're completely unrelated. And I want to say that, but you get a backhand to your mouth. You know what I mean? Like you can't talk back and say that. So you're just like, yeah, all right, it's my fault. You carry these little things for the rest of your life. But no, dude, it's not your fault. Simple as that. Not your fault. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <coughs> All right, guys. Here's the second question. My eyelash is falling off, Sarah. <coughs> uh, this is from our friend. This is from Lash our. Her. It's gonna help me out. <laughs> I'm in the middle of my eye now. Sorry. <laughs> this is our friend D. We'll call him D. Uh, I wanted some advice on our relationship with my girlfriend. We've been dating for over a year now and I made some mistakes prior to us being officially together. She brings it up every couple of months and uses it to justify her, her current feelings or actions. We always move, in, quote, in quotations, past it, but always brought up later on. Should I just move on with my life or work towards making this relationship work? I'm at odds because I know I deserve to be happy and not be reminded of my past. But I was single then, so of course I was talking to other women. Any help would be appreciated. Love you guys. His girlfriend is using his past to basically uh, yeah, that's a use it girl. in fights. That's, that's, that's rude. Yeah, it's young people shit. Yeah, you can't that's, do that. <clears throat> you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah There's always going to be something. Yeah, no, you can't. You don't owe it to anybody to like defend your past. Yeah. None of her fucking business, really. What yeah. happened before her... Entry into your life is really none of her business unless it's currently affecting her. And let's say like you you stab used to stab people and now you stab her in her sleep. Like that's when it matters. Mm -hmm. but right. You can't use that. It, yeah. like, that's so unfair. That's her past. Yeah, I would move on. If I put it that put it this way, <clears throat> that's a major red flag. If I was if I just met somebody and he did that to me, he'd be out today. I wouldn't move on with that relationship. Mm -hmm. That's just me. Yeah. Right? Because that's just no, it's I can't do that like jealousy shit or that judgment or that like yeah, you know, that's like if you brought up like oh, uh, you're you're doing the opposite because it's like you bringing up Sarah or yeah, something. You know what I'm that. saying? Dumb, dumb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but I've had I've had that though. Like when people bring in past stuff, like current relationships. Oh yeah, I've had past. that too. Oh yeah, <laughs> but yeah. It, it's it's them because it's insecurity and to be mean because it does nothing to move the relationship forward. Yeah, forward. yeah exactly. It doesn't. It's not useful. You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't help anybody. So it's like it's just but that's something it. that's... It's you just, said it. It's not useful. Do you think that like, women do that more than men? No. Um, a men, lot of men, men do that too. do it all the time. All the time. Yeah, you were this, you were a hoe. Well, that's what you... I'm like, oh, that's like oh, shaming. Man. Yeah, shaming. Yeah, shaming. It's mm -hmm. like judgment. Mm -hmm. Jules, are you there? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How did you sense her? I just saw her little like head peeking through the corner. Jules, happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Thank you, Jules, for all the food. Day. Jules, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. We did it, guys. Did we get that enough was time, Forge? Did we get enough time? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. I think, you guys, here's my uh, that was really fun, total assessment. Way. You guys fucking killed it. No, that was just fun. I don't, that's honorary not like, no, that honorary fun. Filipinos is what I'm saying. Oh, I mean, on that, on that yeah, tip. Yeah. But yeah. that was fun. That was fun. Yeah. Thank you. It was totally good. Yeah. Thanks for letting yeah. me Sarah, um, thank you anything. for doing this on not that long a notice either. I am. It's, I told uh, George. Thank you. you like, it's amazing. I'm. Thank you. It's an honor. Steve, do you guys want to sign off? What yeah. do you mean? Give us a uh, yeah. promote whatever you want to. Oh, promote. we're still filming. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, Steve, can you? Uh, <laughs> hey, can you keep the energy up? <laughs> um, yeah, promote okay. your stuff. <laughs> Just go to YouTube.com, Scissor Bros. Yeah, I, I'm mostly here for the, that as well because Jeremiah. I told Jeremiah I was coming here. Oh, I thought you wanted to also. Oh, and Stevie Weeby show. Like, you know, and I need both y'all to come back <laughs> on Scissor whenever. Bros? No, either Scissor or mine. Yeah, of course, Wait, Steve. Yeah? Yeah. Your brother comes back on Friday. We can go eat and so stuff. Soon. Right. So soon. Okay. Yeah, we should all go. It's a reunion. Yeah. Reunion. Yeah. Sarah, you yeah. have Where can um, we get stuff the... to promote. Your amazing, amazing art. Art? Thank yes. you. Where can we get it? I appreciate it. Yeah, just 
Just go on Instagram. Everything is on Instagram. Everything lives on Instagram. Um, websites are on Instagram. Everything's on Instagram. Like that's there you go. pretty much it. Oh, yes. Thank you, George. <laughs> and, George, you're going to put it in the YouTube description box, right? Oh, thank you, George. Uh, for those listening, uh, it, my Instagram is Sarah Rose Highland, mm-hmm. or just Sarah Rose. Either or, you will find it. I'm there. What a name. I like that. I, lo- I love that you're still doing art. I know. Yeah. I wasn't, really good I wasn't art. doing it. I wasn't doing it. I was, the pandemic actually happened. But you're doing it. And I'm doing it yeah. again. No, it's been good. It's good and out. that's what I will say. Like, I've, like... Through your fans, Tiger Belly fans, I, I, like there's so many like creative, amazing oh, fans. Like it's oh, crazy. Yeah. Like how, what you guys Stickers. attract your show. Yeah, attracts really cool creative people. <sighs> like it's amazing. I've met so many amazing people. Wow, it's dope. The power of Kalila. I'm just saying, wow. like that's not every podcast attracts like a cool good people. Yeah, we have a good people, community, but mm-hmm. like it feels like you guys have over the years have like accumulated this. Badass group of people. It's mm-hmm. awesome, and they love you. Yeah, they love it. How they you love you so it? much. And the words of Bobby, really quick. Six, six, that's six, enough. <laughs> shut up, everyone. Shut up. Round of applause for Stevie and Sarah. Oh, oh, okay, that's enough, guys. <laughs> Thank you, guys. We'll yes. see you next week. All right, guys. That was a wild episode. <laughs> I mean, not only did we have our beautiful, wonderful, funny, talented co-host uh, Sarah Highland uh, take Bobby's place. <laughs> We didn't stop there. We brought the man, the myth, the legend. I mean, he's right here in our outro. He's doing the sizzle, gotta, <laughs> bro, dance, rocking uh, <laughs> D. Wade's signature shoe. Um, feel free. Uh, is it Lining? Lining? Yeah. Feel free to hit up Steve and sponsor him. Lining, Lining. holler at me. Holler at him. Uh, we just want to thank Which our- camera s- you're looking at there, Steve? Uh, okay. Okay. Look like one? you were looking at <laughs> the wrong one. Lining, holler at me. Okay. <laughs> uh, just a quick update, uh, merch update to our sleepers uh, special announcement. We have some special new designs coming for you guys very soon. Some any uh, any hints on what's happening there, Gil? I don't know. It seems like people really like the uh, Joshua Tree episode, so we might be getting a hoodie and some shirts uh, pretty soon. Maybe boop. That was a quick flash uh, right there. You saw that, George? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, and also, not only that, we also are introducing some uh, really cool summer teas. Little nod to Hawaii. Little nod to the uh, the the ocean stylings that Bobby and Kalila love so much. So here's a little flash of it right here. Ding. <laughs> yeah, George. Edit oh, that. I hate when people do edit that. Edit that. I hate YouTube point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, edit guys, it wrong. If you, if edit you do, it wrong. But if you do want to hear about it first, so it doesn't sell out, because these will be limited run once again. Um, we'll have some merch that sits in the store, but not these designs. These will be capped at a certain amount, so make sure you be first to uh, find out about it so by joining our mailing list at www.podcap.io. Once again, that's www.podcap.io. B-E-L-L-Y. Anything else, George? You said you, you look like you're about to say something. And let's thank our sponsors as well. Hey, hey, hey. Helix. Yeah. Calm and Roman. Take the sleep quiz to match it with your ideal mattress. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash belly. Get the tools that improve the way you feel. For Tiger Belly listeners, Calm is offering a special limited time promo of 40% off a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash belly. Last longer, like Stevie Weeby when it counts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Go, oh. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go to getroman.com slash belly and get $10 off your first order of swipes plus free two-day shipping. And guys, uh, we also want to give a shout out to uh, a sister podcast, or shall I say a brother podcast. I don't even know where my camera A brother podcast. It's called Scissor Bros. Steve, tell us a little about that podcast. Yeah, so Scissor Bros is with me and my, my buddy Jeremiah Watkins. Go to youtube.com slash Scissor Bros. And subscribe today. What Will you guys do some scissors with me? <laughs> One, two, oh, two. How many do we have to do? Three, four, All right, five, a lot. six, Wait, seven. Wait, tell us what we can expect eight. in the show. What can oh, we, we do t- weekly challenges. Nine. Like? Ten. Um, like we did a um, hot sauce challenge. Uh, yeah. We actually pooed in diapers. That's a challenge or it was a mistake? Um, <laughs> the, the original challenge was wh- whoever uh, could... Poo the uh, 
because we took laxatives. Yeah. So whoever pooed first lost, but then it took a while for the laxatives to kick in. <laughs> so we changed it to whoever poos first wins, and I beat. I, I actually <laughs> won. Fuck? I and actually won that challenge. So oh. we do weekly challenges. It's a. It's just a fun, silly podcast. So you guys check it out. Check it out, guys. It will be in yeah. the description down below per Steve's request. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, George. No, do that. It'll be there. Or will it? Uh, Steve, one more time. Say it to the camera. What the link is. YouTube.com slash Scissor Bros. Instagram slash Q-U-A-N-G-O-U. Thanks for letting me be here. Yeah, thanks for coming on, man. And also the Stevie Weeby Show. That is still running. Oh, right Stevie Weeby Show. YouTube.com slash Stevie Weeby. Uh, uploads are every Wednesday. Boom. Uh, guys, we love you very much. Make sure you follow everything Bobby Lee at Bobby Lee Live, Kali like Calamity K, George at George underscore Kimmo, all your Warzone updates at Gilbits. And uh, follow us on Tiger Belly for the latest updates. And that is going to be at, uh, at Tiger Belly on Instagram. And also, one more time, make sure you sign up for the mailing list. That is, once again, www.podcap.io slash belly. Stevie, we love you. George, love you guys. Thank you're you. a great father and husband. And uh, bye, bro. <laughs>